Welcome back to another video. We recently traveled to Oaxaca, Mexico for one month, and it has become one of our favorite destinations to go to. Oaxaca is a state in southern Mexico, and it has an incredible diversity. There are so many experiences that you can do there. In this video, we're going to share the top 10 things to do in Oaxaca, Mexico. And make sure to stay tuned until the end because we will throw in a bonus, a local recommendation we got, which turned out to be one of the highlights of our trip. Now, this list is not ranked in any order, but we will be grouping things geographically for you. And before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and adventure. We're gonna start off near Oaxaca City, which is where most people fly into. So, Oaxaca City has been ranked the world's best city in 2022 by the Travel and Leisure Magazine. This city has amazing colonial architecture and we love hanging out at one of the town squares near the church. If you're visiting, make sure to check out Jalaglaco and Xochimilco, the two oldest neighborhoods in Oaxaca. The murals and street art there is just amazing. So many vibrant colors. It is so, so cute. Now, it also is very culturally rich and diverse in this city. It's amazing. There are 16 different indigenous languages being spoken. We really love checking out Tutulan del Valle, which is nearby Oaxaca City and Zapotec community where we learned how the locals make amazing, amazing rugs from natural dyes and traditional weaving. And also, the city is known for its food. It is known as Mexico's culinary capital, and you really can't go wrong with any food here. It is delicious. There are so many day trips that you can take from Oaxaca City, which takes us into our next few spots on our list. Gabilagua is located about one and a half hours outside of Oaxaca City, and it's one of two only petrified waterfalls in the world. Its unique rock formations were created by hardened minerals left by the water for thousands of years. This is one of the most popular day trips from Oaxaca City, so make sure you go early in the morning to avoid the crowds. The views here are really impressive. Seriously could not get over it. <laughs> the entry fee is just 50 pesos, which is a small price to pay for one of the natural wonders in the world. This is definitely a must do when visiting Oaxaca City. Monte Advan is another popular day trip from Oaxaca City, just 20 minutes drive away. It is one of the best preserved and culturally rich archaeological sites in Mexico. It was inhabited for 1,500 years by many different civilizations, including the Olmecs, Zapotecs, and Mixtecs. At its peak, it had 25,000 people living there. The Zapotecs chose it as their capital because of the 360 views around to watch out for invasions. This archaeological site features many different things like palaces, temples, and even a ball court. It is really impressive. So we really recommend getting there early in the morning because it's getting really, really hot there and there's not a lot of sheet to hide from. And you have to climb a ton of stairs to get up on those buildings to get those amazing, beautiful views. It is also one of the most popular tourist attractions in Oaxaca, which means there's gonna be a lot of people around. But even though there's a lot of people, it doesn't really feel like it because it is such a huge Asian site. We can highly recommend Montalban. Make sure to visit it when you're there. Mezcal is a very important part of Mexican culture, and Oaxaca is the main producer in the world. So one of the top things to do in this area is definitely to go on a mezcal tour. So I did a mezcal tour with the mezcal journey, and it was an amazing, amazing experience. It was a day fully packed with eating delicious foods, tasting amazing mezcal, exploring the agave fields, and learning a lot about the process of making mezcal, because it really makes you appreciate mezcal even more. So I can highly recommend a tour with the mezcal journey.
We're moving away from the Hawkeye City region to the Pacific Coast where there are many incredible beach towns and more fun activities to try out. One of the most unique experiences in Puerto Escondido is releasing baby turtles. You can do this every single day at 5 p.m. at Playa Pococho with Viva Mar and it is truly one of the best experiences that we had in Puerto Escondido. It costs 150 pesos to release one tiny little baby turtle. <laughs> they are so cute. We named our turtles Coco and Loco and we cheer them on as they went towards the water. Oh, I, I love this experience, guys. It is totally, totally worth it. It was so funny to see the different personalities of our turtles because Daniel's turtle, Loco, very accurate name. But his name says it all. <laughs> he was trying to jump out and was like super active while mine was very sleepy and chill. My uh, turtle, a uh, Coco, Daniel called it Sloco because it took forever to get to the water. You literally had to shake it out of the coconut bowl. <laughs> but this is such a fun experience and definitely a must in Puerto Escondido. Puerto Escondido is a beach town that is known as a surfing destination. So of course, one of the best things to do in Oaxaca is to go surfing here. Playa Zicatela is what it made it so famous for surfing, attracting surfers from all around the world because of its powerful waves. There are lots of international surfing competitions here, and this beach is definitely more for professional surfers, but there are lots of other beaches in this area for more beginners and intermediate surfers. Yeah, if you're a beginner surfer like me, you would go to Playa Caracelillo. Playa Caracelillo is in a small cove where the water is a little bit more calm. You can hire an instructor there or just rent a surfboard like I did. If you're a more confident beginner or intermediate, you would go to La Punta. The waves are definitely bigger there and the current is really strong. So I would recommend you hiring an instructor. It is also a really cool beach to check out the sunset. It's very popular there to have drinks and chill at the beach during the sunset hour. Make sure to get there early because it can get really crowded. Speaking about sunsets, another top thing to do in Oaxaca is seeing the sunset at Punta Cometa viewpoint in Mazunte. Mazunte is a beach town a little over an hour drive away from Puerto Escondido. It's small, laid back, hippie vibes, and a lot of charm. Punta Cometa is about a 20 minute walk away from the beach of Mazunte. Not only is the sunset amazing there, but so are the panoramic views. But with that comes a big crowd as well. So make sure to go there early to secure your spot to see the sunset. It is definitely a must do in Masunda and in Oaxaca. Zipolita Beach is just 50 minutes away from Mazunte and it's another beautiful beach on the Oaxacan coast. Now, this beach is unique because it is the only legal clothing optional beach in Mexico. This can definitely be shocking at first, but we promise that you'll quickly fall in love with the relaxed vibes of this beach. And it really feels like there's no judgment around you and very welcoming and safe. Now, not everybody's nude. I would say it's about half past, so you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. Another great thing about this beach is that it's 1.5 kilometers long and there aren't a lot of people, so there's lots of space to yourself. The beach gets quite lively in the late afternoon and you can experience an amazing sunset. This town also has a really cool nightlife with many bars on the beach, tons of live music, amazing restaurants. Cipolita is a very unique place. It is hard to describe, but once you're there, you just unwind and relax. It is really, really highly recommended to visit. Well, Halka not only has a beautiful city with great food and great beaches, but it also has a charming mountain town called San Jose del Pacifico. Make sure you do bring a jaffa here though, because it definitely is a lot colder. So this town is known as the magic mushroom capital of Mexico, and that's why it gained popularity. However, there's many more things that you can do there. It has amazing hiking trails, you can do a traditional temascal, and the town itself 
has a lot of charm. So we can highly recommend you visiting San Jose del Pacifico. This last activity is something you can do everywhere in Oaxaca, both in the city and on the coast, and that's visiting local markets. On the coast, we really love Zicatela Market. It's a great place to grab lunch while facing the ocean. In Oaxaca City, we can really recommend Mercado Viente de November. And if you're there, please don't miss the meat aisle. It is such a cool experience. You can pick and choose your meats from various vendors and they'll just cook them in front of you. But be warned, it gets really, really smoky in there. But the food so delicious and so good. Right next to this market is the Bonita Juarez Market. This is a market with like lots of local products and also souvenirs. So that makes up our top 10 things to do in Oaxaca. But at the beginning of the video, we did prom promise you a bonus feature. And that is the local recommendation we got for hiking El Picacho. El Picacho is located on the outskirts of the charming village Tutilan de Valle, which is about 50 minutes drive away from Oaxaca City. It was recommended to us by a local and it did not disappoint. It was one of our favorite things we did in Oaxaca. So the views from the top of the mountain are just spectacular. The trail is about 4.5 kilometers round trip and is considered moderate. It takes about two hours for the round trip and we can highly recommend going there in the morning or in the late afternoon because there is hardly any shade and it gets really, really hot. It's definitely one of the top things to do in our opinion. One that not many people do because it is a hidden gem, but make sure to check it out. Don't miss it. We hope this Oaxaca guide is helpful for you. If you want to know more about each of these areas, go check out our Oaxaca playlist for more videos. Let us know in the comments below, out of all the places we shared, which sound most interesting to you. And if you've been to Oaxaca, Mexico, make sure to leave your recos in the comments for fellow travelers. So thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. This really helps us out making more content for you. All right, see you the next one.